Honorable Prince Rotimi Agunsoye, fondly referred to as the Promise Keeper, has yet again gone beyond expectations to keep his campaign promises through his laudable gesture to the constituents of Koshofe Federal Constituency. Honorable Prince Rotimi Agunsoye has once again put smiles on the faces of his people through his empowerment program tagged Koshofe Federal Constituency Empowerment and Wealth Creation Program, which is essentially targeted at training youth on a range of skill acquisition programs in various areas of human endeavor. This year, Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye has proven that he is not tired to support the people of Koshofe Federal Constituency by providing various empowerment items ranging from motorcycles, tricycles, gas cylinders, generators, catering materials, hair dryers, popcorn machines, bead making and wire work materials, wheelbarrows, sewing machines, shoes and leather works, and a whole lot of other welfare packages. Honorable Rosimi Agunsoye is a member of the Federal House of Representatives representing Koshofe Federal Constituency, comprising Koshofe Local Council Development Area, Ikosi Sherry, and Agboi Ketsu LCDA. Prior to becoming a member of the House of Representatives, he was a businessman who later became a public servant. In 2015, Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye contested for the Federal House of Representatives on the platform of the All Progressives Congress APC. Since assumption of office, Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye has fulfilled his promise to his people and has touched the lives of Koshofe residents through various empowerment programs as well as through bills and motions passed on the floor of the 8th Assembly to date. The program, which was held on Wednesday, the 4th of July, 2018, at CMD Event Center, Shangisha, Magodo Phase 1, was well attended by friends, admirers, political associates, as well as people of Koshofe Federal Constituency. In attendance at the event were Honorable Tunde Balogun, the Lagos State Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Honorable Adeola Uyedili, Honorable Bayo Shinowo, representing Koshofe Constituency 1 at the Lagos Assembly, Honorable Tunde Braimo, representing Koshofe Constituency 2 at the Lagos Assembly, Southwest Women Leader, Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson, Honorable Dr. Lola Akonde, Lagos State Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Representative of the Oba of Lagos, Oba Riluana Kionu, among many others. The event kicked off with a music presentation by the ROT Choir. <laughs> After which, friends and political associates of Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye took turns to express their goodwill messages. Dr. Lola Konde, the Lagos State Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation, in her remarks, commended Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye for a job well done in fulfilling his campaign promises through his robust and vibrant contributions towards the growth and development of Koshofe Federal Constituency. She urged beneficiaries of the empowerment program to make good and adequate use of the gift items as that would serve as a good token of appreciation for a job well done. I want to thank God for today, for making today possible. And I want to thank specifically uh, Honorable Agunsoye for putting together all the equipment that we are seeing. Uh, when some people went to the legislature, they said there was nothing there. But this is a man, this is his first tenure. 
and he has done so much. This is not the first time I will come to witness uh, the distribution of the equipment. It's poverty alleviation program. So I, I, I feel so moved and I'm so happy that we still have people like that amongst us. People who think of other people, not about themselves only. And I want to tell you that taking all these equipment, please, uh, the beneficiaries, make sure you make use of them properly. Because I want to buy a lot of money in the next year. So, I know that that. In the same vein, Honorable Bayo Shinowo, representing Koshofe Constituency 1 at the Lagos Assembly, praised Honorable Rutimi Agunsoye as a credible and sellable candidate to be re elected for the Koshofe Federal Constituency seat. He added that Honorable Rutimi Agunsoye who against all odds emerged as the party flag bearer had already made the job easier for the APC with his impeccable contributions and goodwill. He urged the people to turn deaf ears to rumors that may likely tarnish the image of political electorates within the same party as it is not healthy for a progressive government. <laughs> foundation Odun leni nitori pa won kan plan ni e pe ko Olorun ba ko dun bayi ni ki nkan ta ko se gratis won kin ranking so to ba je pe won ranking so e awon omo olowo omo billionaire lo ma se governor lo ma se minister lo ma ma se president o so oni pe eto ni gbogbo nkan dide yi a wa dupe lowo leader wa bola me tunumbu to fi foundation yi sile in the remarks of honorable tunde balogun the Lagos State Chairman of the All Progressives Congress APC, he urged the people of Koshofe constituency to vote credible leaders who are ready to fulfill their campaign promises and also enjoined them to go out and get their PVCs as that is the only way they can put the right people in office. <laughs> commissioner opportunity <laughs> The representative of the Oba of Lagos, the Baju Laye of Lagos, Prince Ayodile Oyeko, expressed his satisfaction towards the good deeds of Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye and prayed that God should continually give him the strength and wisdom to do more. I can remember when he was still a commissioner in Lagos State under the last um, administration. We all saw what he did as a commissioner. We, then we know that this man 
if given another chance in another capacity, he will do more. And that is what you're seeing today. For someone like him to be doing such a thing, he's not the only reps in Lagos State. We have lots of reps members in Lagos. But we all come from different constraints. Like us, we, we are from Lagos Island, for example. But seeing somebody doing such a thing for his people, it's such, I gladdens my own heart to see someone like our Prince Agusoe doing such a thing. From KBC, the Lekou, we say, uh, continue doing what you're doing, Prince Agusoe, Ofi Wope, Omo Banye, Toribe, Awa Dansaki, Owa Larae. This was immediately followed by a performance by Pupils of Bolorunduru International School. The man of the moment, Honorable Prince Rotimi Agusoye in his redress, appreciated his friends and political associates for their unflinching support since he assumed office in the year 2015. He also thanked residents of Koshofe Federal Constituency for willingly choosing him as their representative. Honorable Prince Rotimi Agusoye appreciated Governor Akeumi Ambode for the huge strides and excellent performance across the state. Adding that the APC has over the years contributed immensely to the development of Lagos State as the commercial hub of Nigeria and West Africa. He said the empowerment program, which started over two years ago, was essentially targeted at getting as many youth as possible to empower them with useful skills. He said the program has so far recorded great successes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me at this juncture very respectively register my profound gratitude to everyone here present for your steadfast loyalty support and your unshaking belief in the cause of our great party apc without your enduring support without your continued prayers and patience not much will be accomplished your steadfastness led to my emergence in 2015 as your representative in the Green Chamber of the National Assembly. The decision today has further put our constituency in good stead, making us one vibrant part of Nigeria, contributing positively to the socio-economic discussion on salient issues that defines and determines the existence of our great nation, Nigeria. I therefore thank our leaders, party officials, our women, and the youth for your amazing contribution to this struggle. I also salute the men and women of our great party for your consistent determination and contribution in the face of emerging realities in Lagos State and our dear nation, Nigeria. He added that through various skill acquisition programs like hairstyling, makeup, solar power technologies, fashion designing, agriculture, cinematography, and so on, a sizable number of youth have become great entrepreneurs in the state. Honorable Prince Rotimi Agunsoye stressed that he is still committed to the upliftment of the people of Kushofe Federal Constituency and would make sure it is not in any way relegated in the scheme of things at the federal level. One thing I want us to say here today is to encourage the beneficiaries of what we are going to give out today. We have the database. We are going to be monitoring. We want the party also to monitor. You see, it is one thing to give fish. 
if you give fish, people will finish the fish. But if you teach how to fish, they will be able to fill themselves, they will be able to fill their family, and also be able to contribute to the development of this great nation. We know that Nigeria is in a mess as we are. We cannot blame the mess on the present government. And I do not want to blame the mess on the past government. Because you cannot what you don't have. You cannot blame them for what they have done. But what we have to do is to clean the mess and move on. To move Nigeria to the next level. The presentation of items began as beneficiaries took turns to receive various empowerment items. Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson, Honorable Bayo Shinowo, among others, did the honor of presenting some of the items to the beneficiaries. The presentation of gift items went on for a while as the events gradually came to an end. I said, my baby, they give me ginger, number one for the matter. She no follower, no doubt. She's my only lover. Samantha, oh, Samantha. Samantha, do me something. Samantha, oh, Samantha. The baby, that she do me, do me. From Biscon Communications, we commend Honorable Prince Rotimi Agunsoye for a job well done towards the upliftment of the people of Kushafe Federal Constituency in Lagos State. <laughs>